Hello everyone, Susan Tan here from Senior Protection. On the weekends when I'm having my morning coffee, I really like doing research to find information that can improve the quality of life for seniors. And that's exactly how I found a really interesting article about a brand new organization called Seniors Junction. So I reached out and spoke with the CEO and co-founder, Namrata. She was kind enough to set up a personal meeting with her co-founder and partner, Paul Merkley, who just happens to be a retired University of Ottawa professor of musicology. After meeting with him in person, I can tell you that both individuals are kind and dedicated and passionate about improving the lives and the quality of lives of older adults. So having that conversation with Paul was inspiring. Join me now. Paul, thank you so much for meeting us today on such a beautiful day. And I have to admit, when I saw just two of your first posts and then the article that was in the Burlington and the Hamilton Spectator newspaper, this is such a good service for Canadian seniors, especially. Yeah, Thanks the, very much, Susan. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. And I spoke to Namita on the phone, and I love how it started the story of how you met and it's a good created story, isn't it? it's a good story so we're both we're both yeah. um harvard alums she did her master of public health there she's now finishing a phd um and i i did my phd at harvard so toronto there's a toronto chapter of harvard alumni and once a year they have a reception um neither of us had ever been to it she just arrived in canada and I had just been told as a widower that I should get myself a social network. And I thought, well, I'll go to the networking night. Maybe they'll have a network. So we met there and we talked and we ran into each other several times and fine. But then a couple of days later uh, in Union Station, we were both taking the same train without realizing it. So we talked further. And then um, I ended up teaching for a term at the University of Ottawa once a week. And so we had breakfast every every day and we cooked up this idea. So, yeah. so from the public health side, it seemed to her that, um, well, social isolation was a grave problem before COVID. And then with COVID, it became a public emergency. Mm -hmm. um, and I was more on the artistic side. I'm the one with the music history degree. <laughs> Well, music soothes the soul. So there we it's a are, to soothe the soul. So we cooked it up. <laughs> That's beautiful. And what benefits have both of you realized that if someone goes online, looks you up, and looks up Seniors Junction, what are the benefits? And maybe we could break it down to like, what are the benefits of jazz, classical, rock, hillbilly, yeah, you're country? Right, you're right. Yeah. They all have different advantages. Um, the one thing I would say is that seems to be, from what we can tell, uh, a mixture of the familiar and the new for people that really helps them, especially safeguards them against dementia. Because there's a, um, it's technically called a novelty curve in neurosciences. A little bit of new mm -hmm. does you a lot of good. Um, the familiar is our way to address people to bring them along and then when they start to learn about the context of it and you know get back into it then they go quite far um, as you say that we can see the different parts of the brain benefit from mm -hmm. different things like there are benefits to rhythm that you would get in mm -hmm. some genres so the and backbeat or... <laughs> that's right. Things like that yeah. can be very helpful. The rhythm can do a lot, especially, let's say, for people with Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. um, but classical music does an awful lot for people. Jazz does a lot. If we can, if we can get them interested, enjoying what they already know and interested a little bit in, or curious enough to put up with something new for a little bit, yeah. that's the best we can do for them. It's good. That's beautiful. And I also noticed like there was a photograph on your Instagram account and you had the sign. You also do like tours to farms and other events. So Event you're... Events, yeah. yeah. And, I, and we've moved towards more um, going to concerts. Okay. As our events. So okay. We went to... Uh, a bunch of us went to an opera this, this year. Oh, lovely. In Toronto. So that was very exciting for everybody. 
So how do you how do you coordinate that? Do they meet in one spot and then you t- mm-hmm. we all, we all went by Go Train? Oh, nice! And uh, met there. Uh, I was doing the pre-concert talk anyway, so mm-hmm. we collected there, and then um, went back together. What opera did you see? Well, we we went to the um, we went to the Opera Atelier production. That's a Toronto Baroque period nice. opera company. And um, they were doing an opera by Handel that is actually an oratorio, but they imagined how it would be as an opera. So it was quite exciting. That's Called The Resurrection. Lovely. And it was at Easter. Oh, that's so, perfect. So we had a good time. If it's Baroque, don't fix it. No. If it's, baroque, <laughs> if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. That's it. Okay, sorry. I that's think exactly right. No, no. I set you up for that. That's good. <laughs> okay. that's good. And the humor is really great. Well, people need a little humor. They need a little humor, and that's why um, people ask me what my music tastes are, and they're eclectic. Mm-hmm. You know, like Chris Stapleton, rock and roll classics. Uh, See, it's songs really from ideal. The 50s. It's really ideal. Yeah. We like it's kind of like nutrition. Right? Yeah, we like people to have some vegetables, some fruits, some protein. Yeah, exactly. So, from your experience and the and the clients that you have, which is actually more of a community, I think, mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. clients. Mm-hmm. What's the feedback that you're getting from people who are just getting over all the lockdowns and life returning to normal? Well, they're really glad to do this. Yeah. They really get a lot out of it. And we have testimonials. They say they really appreciate it. Um, Some of them are sort of picking music up again as an interest they had. Uh, Some of them say they knew almost nothing about music and they find it all very interesting and exciting. Mm Mm-hmm. I think maybe the ones who know the least about music maybe even benefit more because it's yeah. all new and all exciting. It keeps them sharp, mm-hmm. gives them lots to talk about, and we socialize. We have a lot of discussions. Oh, that's beautiful. And they can take these classes online as well? They take them online. We primarily, yeah. primarily everything is online. Okay. A few things in person. Now, like I want to sign up for the next trip and see a performance that's cool. awesome and especially cool. i haven't been to opera since college days because you're right you get married you have kids you have mortgages you're putting your kids through school um your vinyl albums are in a box in the basement for a few years I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> and i'm like you're bringing up all this i'm like i used to do all that and yeah. i got out of habit yeah and it's uh it's like i have to join myself but um i'm thinking of all of our clients across canada Everyone comes from different backgrounds, mm-hmm. different budgets. We have widows, we have widowers. Um, are there some things that are free? Oh yes. They, yeah. oh, yes. It's yes. quite a, it's a big platform and a growing platform. So, for instance, we have a lot of uh, free playlists that people like a lot. Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, I love your playlists. Um, we do have some short lectures online, mm-hmm. especially... Um, Especially we put them there to sort of bridge the gap. Someone says, I don't know if I could follow one of your courses. Well, we've got about five videos okay. that if you watch them, you, you would know. feel confident. You'd yeah. say, oh, well, if it's like that, I could do it. They're sort of demonstrations. So you can conquer their fear. of we conquer their fear, story. yeah. That's, that's been very important. Yeah. Because a lot of them say, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't manage that. Wow, okay. And you say, well, yeah, you could. What would be the main thing if every single Canadian over the age of 50 was listening right this moment mm-hmm. on how important not just music and the history of music and the tonality and the beat and the rhythm and maybe some curious historic s- stories of how this got created, uh, artwork, what are the benefits of getting away from stuff that we forgot when we were taught in school? Well, this is it, isn't it? So. It's such a big key for our personal expression. Yeah. So it gives us gives us ways to express things and to appreciate kinds of expression that in the normal course of the week we might not mm-hmm. otherwise. Um, it unlocks a whole lot. And um, apart from diet and exercise, it's the biggest tool you've got to prevent dementia mm-hmm. right there. Um, treating treating your listening as an important activity. Uh, I don't think it'll do too much for you if it's just in the background while you're 
vacuuming or hammering or something. But if you pay attention and listen, it can do a whole lot. Okay. So our particular, we're very part, proud of our particular programs because they're designed to do the, the most for people. So okay. again, and, and one thing we all have when we retire, we have time, right? It's a <laughs> retirement is supposed to, we th we're supposed to think of it as a reward of time, but it's a loss of other things. It's a loss of purpose. It's a loss of friends. Uh, and then if it's accompanied by, as you say, losing a spouse, which it was for me, that happened at the same time, well, then it's a bigger loss. And so how yeah. do we, how do we get a bit of purpose? So by doing, doing some things kind of deliberately with music and getting interested again, purpose opens up and feelings open up and all that is very good mm -hmm. it builds up what technically they call a cognitive reserve against dementia some protection yes you create new neural pathways neural pathways yes that's right that's, the, the, yeah. the sort of flexibility right yeah. uh especially for us with the um multimedia things like film mm -hmm. music or yes. music and theater um having two things at the same time well probably you're brain hasn't done that in a while yeah and it has to say well how would i do that and the neurons start to move differently yeah and then we we appreciate because there's classic movies out there and subconsciously we didn't realize you how didn't much realize. the music made it yeah you didn't realize how much the music was influencing your feelings and telling yeah. the story you didn't realize that, that'd be a because, good course uh, yeah it's howard shore say the composer who did the lord of the rings and so many things um if people hear my music i'm not doing a good job it's supposed to be sneaky underneath. Set the tone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's train the emotions, mm -hmm. get them involved. Yeah. That's, uh, wow, I'm having flashbacks to high school, college, oh, there you single go. life. There you go. And, and when, you know, in living uh, near Bathurst and Bloor, being able to oh, take well, advantage yes. of all the music. Goodness gracious, yeah. what a great yeah. culture huh, we have. Yeah. And, yeah, the 70s and the 80s were cool. <laughs> they were pretty cool. They were pretty cool, and the music got us through. That's yeah, right. no, and uh, I, is there anything else you want to add? But I just want to recommend every Canadian citizen, and I think you're also involved in the States as well. Mm -hmm. We are. We are. So, yeah, I, I would just say that um, there's no need to be intimidated. These are, I, I really like the quality of what we deliver. We deliver it in a community way. Um, you're not going to ever feel that it's talking over your head. So, um, take a look at the website. If mm -hmm. you like the if you like the demo, mm -hmm. you'd like the courses. Okay. I guess I just say that. If yes. you like the demo, you like the courses. Now, what's your? I mean, this is going to put you in a corner, but mm -hmm. do you have a favorite style of music? What's your favorite? Oh, like an awful lot of music. <laughs> um, I do like a whole lot. I spent most of my research career working on the Renaissance, so I love the composer Jean de Pre. My secondary area of research was film music, and so I like a lot. Maybe my favorite score mm -hmm. is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Of course, yes. Which would be from that time too, <laughs> marking me as a, as a child of that time. Boomer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, I think everyone, when you go home, Watch your favorite movie again. Listen to the music. Listen to the music. Ask yourself what music is playing here. Yeah. What is it doing? What yeah. is it doing in this scene? What is it helping out with? Why is my heart beating a different way at this ah, romantic right. scene? Why am I tense? Should I go for the obvious? I remember being in high school and seeing Jaws. And Jaws, yes. It's that, the greatest, that, the greatest motif. Yes. The greatest little motif. Two yeah. notes. Two notes. And it scares everybody. About the shark, right? You hear those two notes, and yeah. you say, "Is there a shark in this room? <laughs> right, what do I, what do I do now?" And but, and all because, all because the shark didn't work properly, and music saved the day in that music movie. Music saved and it, the day. Yeah, music saved the day. Well, John, Chief um, John Williams was in. When you work on a Spielberg score or a production, yeah. they put you in those little bungalows right on the studio because he didn't want any word of anything getting off. Yeah. So you live on the bungalow yeah. and then he walks around all day just touring the bungalows how's the work on the x or y coming yeah. so he came to the john williams bungalow and said do you have anything on the shark motif he said oh, yeah, yeah yeah i think i know what i'm doing and he took two fingers like playing chopsticks and he went do you do 
deity and whatnot. And, and so Spielberg said, well, that's really funny, but have you made any progress on that? <laughs> he thought it was a joke, right? He said, no, no, he said, the John Wayne said, this is, this is the motif for the shark. Mm -hmm. he, you know, I'm sure he said, I paid $300,000 for this, right? Like that, for you to play chopsticks. But then he understood that, mm -hmm. you know, it was a large creature, low range, narrow intervals, scary. It could be sped up as it got closer and how well it worked. How many oh. awards? Yeah. <laughs> it's classic. Yeah. It's classic. Uh, well, I think everyone get involved, have fun. Uh, it's just a pleasure. Thank you very much. I, I love all of your posts and thanks. Uh, we've all had our challenges with COVID and other stuff mm. and music has gotten me through it. Good. So the fact that the two of you are helping people get through it, get better, get improved. It's our mission. We have a mission. Well, Music soothes the soul, yeah. and I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, you take a lot. care.